Our bones consist of an outer shell of compact bone and an interior of spongy bone. Compact bone is dense and strong and provides an attachment site for muscle. Spongy bone is lightweight, rich in blood vessels, highly porous, and contains bone marrow, where blood cells are formed. While bone resembles cartilage, the collagen fibers of bone are hardened by deposits of calcium phosphate. There are three types of bone cells, osteoblasts, bone-forming cells, osteocytes, mature bone cells, and osteoclasts, bone-dissolving cells. Bone-producing osteoblasts form a thin layer covering the outside of the bone. The osteoblasts secrete a hardened matrix of bone and gradually become entrapped within it. They then stop secreting matrix and become osteocytes. Osteocytes are nourished by nearby capillaries and are connected to one another by thin extensions that osteocytes send out to each other through narrow channels in the bone. Although unable to produce more bone, osteocytes secrete substances that control the continuous remodeling of bone. Each year, 5 to 10 percent of all the bone in your body is dissolved away and replaced. This allows your skeleton to subtly alter its shape in response to the demands placed upon it. For example, by increasing the thickness of bones that carry heavy loads or are subjected to extra stress. Bone remodeling allows bone to be replaced as it ages and becomes brittle. As people age, the remodeling process slows and bones tend to become more fragile as a result. The continuous turnover of bone also allows the body to maintain constant levels of calcium in the blood. Calcium from bones is retained in the blood if blood calcium drops, but returned to bone if blood calcium levels are adequate or high. This process is regulated by two hormones, calcitonin, which causes the bones to retain calcium, and parathormone, which causes bones to release calcium into the blood. Bone remodeling is the result of the coordinated activity of osteoclasts and osteoblasts. Osteoclasts secrete acids and enzymes that dissolve the hard bone matrix. Working in small groups, osteoclasts tunnel into the bone, creating channels that are invaded by capillaries and osteoblasts. The osteoblasts fill the channel with concentric deposits of new bone matrix, leaving only a small opening for the capillary. As a result of this process, in cross-section, hard bone is made up of tightly packed units called Haversian systems, each consisting of concentric layers of bone with embedded osteocytes. The concentric deposits surround a central canal through which a capillary runs.